Have you ever wondered what an aviation banquet is like? Have you ever imagined what it's like to have dinner with like-minded enthusiasts, have a chance to win free plane tickets, and listen to guest speakers on aviation? Have you ever wanted to be around aviation 24-7 for three days straight? Join me as we're going to be putting all those desires to the test as we're going to be attending the banquet for Airliners International 2023. Welcome everybody to the Airliners International 2023 banquet experience at the DFW Hyatt Regency. This is going to be a blast and I am super excited for this. So let's go ahead and get started everybody. Alrighty everybody, welcome to the Airliners International 2023 banquet here at the DFW Hyatt Regency. I really hope all of you are looking forward to this experience as today we'll be covering the Airliners International banquet for the first time here on my channel and I'm really excited to bring you along for the ride and show you what the Airliners International banquet is all about. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and establish what the Airliners International banquet is all about. So Airliners International is the largest airline collectible show in the entire world and to celebrate the three day airline collectible show, they decided to establish a banquet at the very end of the convention. So typically on Saturday night, the banquet is hosted. And unfortunately, when I attended Airlines International for the first time in Chicago in 2022, I was not able to fit it into my plans, but I made sure to make it a priority to attend in 2023 in Dallas. And it went absolutely awesome. So let's just go ahead and get started with the outline and all that you need to know. So first and foremost, I'll talk about the price at the end so you have a better idea of what to expect and then what justifies the cost in my opinion. So we'll talk about that at the end if you're curious and what it takes to attend attend the Airlines International Banquet, but let's just go ahead and get started with the outline. So typically in the evening, about 6, 30, 7 o'clock, everybody start make, starts making their way to the uh, wherever the banquet's going to be taking place, typically in a ballroom. Sometimes it's in the same one that the collectible show was, other times it's in a separate one. In this particular case, it was on the edge in the main ballroom that we had at DFW. So outside here, you can see in the lobby, they start with a drink station, which of course for the older uh, collectors here and the older airline enthusiasts, this makes sense. So you can certainly see what's going on down here in the crowd that we have. Shout out to Dwight, uh, Dave, and uh, Andrew over there having a great time in the picture here, as you can see. But overall, really cool to get to hang out with people. You still can, of course, attend if you're not 21 years old. I was not at the time. And you can still hang out and have a great time, which is another reason why I didn't uh, attend in Chicago was I didn't think that, you know, I was going to be old enough to attend that event. But you can attend at any age. So it's really cool. And, uh, of course, you won't be able to drink alcohol at these events. I wouldn't anyways. But, you know, that's just uh, one of the, uh, you know, that's a typical uh, practice here at these banquets. So that's why we have the drink station, which opens up typically an hour before the actual banquet commences. So that's what you're seeing out here. This the drink station. I don't think I have a better picture, but over there on the right side is where that was taking place. So overall, really nice to see that. And that's uh, really cool right there to say the least. So overall looking good. So I'll go ahead and uh, let's see if I have any other pictures I want to show here before we show some clips. So next up, you're going to see some clips here inside the, uh, the banquet and you're going to see kind of firsthand what's going on here and all the action. So I'll go ahead and show you those clips and then we'll talk about what's going on next through a voiceover. So let's go ahead and get into those clips, everybody. everybody so let's go ahead and get into the banquet so as you can see right here we had a very large attendance crowd which is really cool i think we had like 250 people which is super awesome so first and foremost what we started with was everybody sitting down and taking their seats which you can uh get on the sheet for prior usually on saturday they'll have a sign up list outside the ballroom so that's typically how that works so you pick your table and then following that you get seated and then from there what starts off the banquet is a contest which is really cool so i have the sheet right here for the airlines international 2023 dfw trip a contest so you can see how challenging some of these questions were this was by far the most challenging aviation trivia of course for some of the older attendees it's a little bit easier since some of this you know obviously 
was known i think i only got a handful of these right maybe like uh three or four but it was certainly still fun to have fun with it so here's your little study guide if you will for next year's trivia contest so hopefully it gets slightly easier next time i've heard over the years they bounce between being way too easy and way too hard so still had a bunch of fun so you can see here my answers and of course i did my best so and also this was prepared by perfect attendee jim jet thompson a fantastic guy who's attended every single airlines international and to their knowledge the only person that has done so so really Really cool to get to see that he prepared this and certainly a very qualified individual with all of his knowledge in the aviation landscape so that's really cool so the contest while challenging is still really fun and you certainly learn a healthy amount of information about aviation so that's certainly really cool from there, you have the opening words from uh, typically the director. So in this case, it was uh, Chris Slimmer that gave some opening words, which was really cool. And then we also had some other uh, speakers and whatnot. So I'm going to show those throughout here and you can kind of get a better idea of that. So I'll show you some clips of kind of how this gets uh, started and then we'll get into some more information. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Alrighty, everybody. So from there, we ended up uh, getting our food, which was absolutely fantastic. And this is why the price will be a little bit higher is the type of meal that we're getting. This is a superior meal, in my opinion. So as you can see right here, we have a variety of entrees and sides here, as you can see. So you can see some steak over there in the back. You got some various mashed potatoes. I think there's some shrimp in there too. You got some salad, asparagus, uh, bread rolls. So you certainly get a very healthy amount of food, as you can see right here. Personally, I thought it was uh, very justified for what we got there. And it was certainly very nice, in my opinion. So Certainly really nice. There's also dessert as well. I don't think I got a picture of that, but you certainly get fed very well at the banquet, which is really cool. So you can see that. So if you're certainly a big eater, this certainly even more justifies the experience, but the contest was really fun. And then let's go ahead and get into some of the next parts here of Airlines International, uh, the banquet. So I have some more clips of the show, including uh, a guest word from myself, which was really cool. So we're going to take a look at that and then we'll take a look at some more components here of Airlines International. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're gonna uh, just plain go fishing here. Uh, so this is the warm up, and uh, just yell out. You don't put anything down on the answer sheet. Just just yell out uh, when you when uh, I call. Oh, she actually got it. So this is. Uh, thank you everybody for having me here tonight. I really appreciate. It. First and foremost, I want to give a huge thank you to Chris, Bill, Gordon, everybody that makes these aviation just gatherings absolutely amazing. So. As Dave just said, my name is Connor of Red River Aviation. I share uh, YouTube videos and Instagram posts regarding all sorts of aviation content. So it's just super special to me. And like he said, I walked into Chicago really blind for lack of a better term of just, what can I expect at Airlines International? I just heard online just from a couple of friends that there's this convention that goes on and thousands of the aviation enthusiasts go to it. And from a small town, Cushing, Oklahoma, 8,000 people and barely getting the drive over to Tulsa for an hour to go play <laughs> flying for the day. I wanted to go interact with people like you, and that is exactly what this convention is all about. And it's truly a surreal moment. I just can't thank everybody enough for your dedication, your passion. I have not ran into any disagreements. It's just, it's so incredible to just see all of these other live topics just get put to the side and just everybody come together and do what we love and what we do. It's absolutely special. I can't thank each and every one of you enough for continuing to come to these events. It's truly meaningful, and that's what it's all about here. It's just absolutely crazy, and I just want to say a huge thank you. I mean, just Dave came up to me in line in Chicago, and I mean, that just speaks volumes to me because, as you can see, the age difference is there, and for each and every one of you, we're going to talk about the younger generation coming as well, and that's what I've been doing with YouTube, sharing a bunch of very nice international videos about. It's not just the model airplanes, not just the postcards, not just the timetable. It is about the friendships, and I just have to say, who knows where we would be without this organization. I'm sure many of you can relate to what I'm feeling right now. and It's just absolutely special. So I'm so excited to continue to get the younger generation more involved. This organization is absolutely incredible and it doesn't matter how old you are, where you live, where you're from, what your background is. We are all aviation enthusiasts. We know what we love and we are here to do it. And I'm really excited for many years of this amazing organization to come and how I can contribute to it. Do not hesitate to talk to me. I'm happy to help in any way with whatever you need my help with for this organization. It means the world to me. And I'm not joking. This has been the best week of my life. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> 
Everybody, everybody so as you saw that was really fun it was really cool to get to uh give a friends talk there that was really fun so i really enjoyed doing that and i hope more people get that opportunity in the future so i was really fortunate to have that opportunity to talk about how important airlines international has been to me and you can see those words come off very uh just boldly to be honest so i really enjoyed that and that was super fun so really great time there so after that then we had our guest speaker which was the first female uh captain under, or sorry first female pilot i should say rather at american airlines which was super fun so i do have some clips from that the show which did uh that was about 25 30 minutes or so and then there was a questionnaire as well so i'll show some clips from that so you get a better idea of what's going on with that so let's go ahead and take a look at that yeah you know, but i didn't have my my um my uh, yeah. third, yeah. Yeah. Third yeah. Third my medical. medical. She was medical. Media was fascinated by this entity, this, this being called Bonnie, the, the first you know female pilot hired at, at American Airlines, and they were they were wanting to interview you and they wanted to take pictures. They always wanted to be gone when they had something going on, and um, it worked out. It worked out well. I think twenty six years was okay. <laughs> You, you heard tonight, uh, Phil Brooks had uh, an event talking. to wanted to be gone when they had something going on. And um, it worked out, it worked out well. I think 26 years was okay. That was enough. You heard tonight, uh, Phil Brooks had uh, an event talking. Alrighty, everybody, and then from there, let's go ahead and talk about the giveaways. So one of the coolest parts about the Airlines International Banquet is they do have giveaways, which is super, super fun. So they gave away some really cool items at this banquet, and I hope that this continues. But some of the prizes that were uh, given away here at the banquet included, I believe it was two round trip JetBlue tickets in mint class, which was really super sweet for free once again. So that was really fun, and huge shout out to Alpine Aviation and his mom for winning those, and got to meet Alpine Aviation mom when everybody comes to Kansas City. She is absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to seeing her again. So that was awesome for them. Was super happy for them. And it was really cool to get to celebrate that. Uh, two round trip British Airways tickets were given away, which is super, super fun. I believe it was two or four round trip tickets on Alaska were given away, which was fantastic. And then a variety of aviation memorabilia. A Gemini 200 Tennessee one was given away. I believe a Hawaiian A330 was as well. I think there was some other like, uh, I think there may have been like a Hawaiian Airlines backpack, maybe an American Airlines backpack. We had some other amenity kits given away and other such items. I think there may have been some clothing as well and a couple of bags. So certainly really cool. It was certainly worth the value and you'll see that throughout. So that was really cool. And one of the coolest parts about the banquet is you do have a very high percentage chance to win on those. So that was certainly very cool to see. And I certainly really enjoyed watching everybody uh, get to celebrate their winnings so that was really cool and definitely uh, a really good probability there and again why the cost will be a little bit higher because if you do win I mean look at Alpine Aviation for example getting two free round trip mint tickets on JetBlue I mean that's that's a heck of an experience I mean very happy for them and everybody else that was winning prizes and that was really cool uh, there was an aircraft identification book that was given away to the person that scored lowest on the contest so you know it's a bunch of really fun perks and I wish I would have got a chance to film more of it and I'm going to do my best to have a camera like set up so I can do a little bit better job clipping it for next year but again it was a one-man show so working through those kinks as we speak and i'm certainly excited for what's to come here in the near future so uh, yeah, that was the full banquet. And then, of course, talking with everybody afterwards was really cool. This is kind of like the final reflection in the very end of Airlines International. Of course, some people meet up on Sunday mornings, but Saturday night's really the last time that you get a chance to uh, hang out with everybody, get some final talks in, just say, I'm excited for next year, pretty much is kind of what the uh, vibes were like, which was really cool. I did help uh, do a little bit of tear down. I helped take down that projector and some of the other components of the stage. So that was really cool. So I enjoyed doing that. And overall, it was an absolute blast. So yeah, that is really the full uh, experience there. I really hope that all of you enjoyed that rundown. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any additional questions, but between the amazing food, the giveaways, the amazing talks, you know, yes, this price that I'm about to tell you is pretty significant, but it's certainly worth the experience. In my opinion, I had an absolute blast. And again, your raffle chances are really high. It's a great meal and you just have a great time. It's a really great way to support Airlines International. It's one of the uh, biggest uh, places for their revenue. So I can't recommend it enough. And it's an absolute great time here at the banquet. But with all that being said, I will now give you the prices as once again, it is a little bit higher, but I think it's certainly worth it. 
So with the three day registration, it cost $150 with the registration. So that would be $90 individually compared to getting the registration by itself for three days, which is $60 plus a tour. So the individual price for the banquet does, then comes out the 90, which you can buy by yourself. Now I know you're probably screaming at me $90. That's absolutely ridiculous. But if you think about the full value, if you continue to pay that, you know, that would easily pay for either a model that you may win or a round trip ticket that you may get. You know, you have to keep coming to these to eventually get one of those prizes. But again, at some point you will win out on one of those. So if you are interested in that aspect, that certainly makes it worth it. But for me personally, why it's so worth it is just the uh, guest speaker that you get to hear, the amazing food that you get to eat, the amazing conversations that you get to have. All those factors are really important to my personal value and morals. And as a result, why it's so important to attend in my eyes. I just have a great time. It's super fun. The contest is also fun. I would say it's worth 10 bucks by itself. They just have a great time and have fun with that. And again, you know, it's about the experience. You know, you're going to have to eat anyways and that's really like a 30 or 40 dollar meal at least possibly more than that if you want to include dessert and whatnot so there's half your money right there and then of course the other half think about it like an investment if you want to look at it from the eyes of a prize that you may win but i've personally value that money for the friends that we get to meet and the people that we get to talk to and all of those factors which is really cool so i can't recommend it enough uh for airlines international 2024 in kansas city that is out on the what uh airlines international website so if you're interested in signing up for this event i'd recommend doing so again pretty expensive and it will sell out pretty fast so if you are interested i do recommend jumping on it literally so that you can have the opportunity to attend it is a really fun event and i can't recommend it enough so again i know the price is a little steep but i thought so the same I was like well i need to give this a try before i really judge it and that's exactly what happened so i had a great time i really enjoyed it, and i hope all of you have a great time if you're able to come to upcoming airlines international banquets if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section but it's certainly a super fun event and i'm really excited for airlines international 2024's banquet which will be hosted in kansas city so definitely stay on the lookout for that but i really hope all of you enjoyed this video if you want to watch more airlines international national 2024 content stay on the uh, screen and the card will come up for it here at the end you can click on the playlist and browse around and find some fun videos but i'm looking forward to more airlines videos to come and i hope each and every one of you are as well so with all that being said everybody that'll do for today's video thank you all so much for watching i want to thank each and every one of you for watching my name is director of aviation take it easy everybody stay safe trust process do you love and love you do my name is director of aviation i want to thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all soon as director of aviation is signing off